Beyond the naked eye, there is a wonderful world going on around us we rarely get the chance to see. Technology, however, now gives us rare and incredible access to peer into this world and see it in detail like never before. Electron microscopes are the most powerful type of microscope capable of distinguishing even individual atoms. Scanning electron microscopes in particular can magnify samples up to 3 million times. They produce 3D images of a sample by scanning the surface with a focused beam of electrons. Here are some of the most amazing images of what is too small to see with our naked eyes. Shark skin is almost entirely covered by small pointed placoid scales. The scales, also called dermal denticles, are supported by spines, which feel rough when stroked in a backward direction, but when flattened by the forward movement of water create tiny vortices that reduce hydrodynamic drag and reduce the turbulence, making swimming both more efficient and quieter. If you look closely at dry sugar, you'll notice it comes in little cube-like shapes. These are sugar crystals, orderly arrangements of sucrose molecules which are composed of 12 atoms of carbon, 22 atoms of hydrogen, and 11 atoms of oxygen. A petal from a rose flower, showing the structure of the papillae that make up its surface. Papillae are projections from epidermal cells and in the rose they are conical in shape. The papillae surface is often covered in a thin layer of wax to reduce water evaporation in the flower. Rose flower petals are also soft to the touch due to the numerous and tightly packed papillae. The surface of an old used penny. The surface of a strawberry. The flesh of the strawberry is colored red. The bead seals are the akins. A parasitic mite called Varroa destructor on a honeybee. A fetal aorta filled with red blood cells or erythrocytes. The mouth of a caterpillar magnified 10,000 times, viewed from a distance of 5 mm. The stamens of a hibiscus flower with pollens. Wing scales from the orange part of the wing of Cleopatra butterfly. Some scales are sealed shaped, others can be shaped like hearts, spears, or very long thin hairs, depending on their location and function. Under high magnification, it can be seen that the scales are constructed from about 20 to 40 parallel ribs, each linked by a series of tiny crossbars. The spaces between the ribs and crossbars diffract light to different degrees and thereby produce the myriad of hues which form the wing patterns. In this tiny section from the wing scale, we can see that the vertical ribs are connected by tiny rods, each covered with spore-like protuberances. The edge of a plain piece of paper. These are grains of salt a mineral composed primarily of sodium chloride, essential for life in general as well as being one of the basic human tastes. The stigma of an arnica flower. This is a cigarette paper. The blue crystals are additives that keep the lit cigarette burning by producing oxygen. The compound eyes of a mosquito. Compound eyes consist of many spherical lenses known as ametidia. Each ametidium is a simple eye that sends a signal to the mosquito's brain which combines the thousands of images to form a mosaic view of the world. The image is not sharp but is excellent at detecting movements. A human embryo at the 16 cell stage on the tip of a pin. The yellow ball of cells of the embryo is known as a marula a cluster of almost identical rounded cells, each containing a central nucleus. This 16-cell embryo is about 3 days old. 
It is at the early stage of transformation from a single cell to a human composed of millions of cells. These are chloroplasts, the organelles found in plant cells that conduct photosynthesis. The plant seen here is a weed and the little dots you see on the chloroplasts are herbicide, which blocks one of the many enzymes used in chlorophyll biosynthesis. This puts a stop to photosynthesis, which means no conversion of light to energy. Taste buds on the surface of a human tongue. Outer feather of a penguin. Penguin feathers are short, overlapping and densely packed. The outer part of the feather is waterproof while the inner down section traps an insulating layer of air, keeping the penguin warm in sometimes freezing water. This is a close-up of how a record player works. The needle and the little groups are on the record. This image has been magnified 1000 times to show the plaque forming bacteria that lurks on teeth. The end of the tongue or proboscis of a hummingbird hawk moth. A needle and thread. Eyelash hairs growing from the surface of human skin, magnified 50 times. This is a leaf vein. Veins are used to transport food and water throughout the leaf and also provide mechanical and structural support. Veins usually occur on the underside of leaves. A tapeworm. Human cortical neurons or brain cells show in an extensive network of interconnecting dendrites. Cortical neurons make up the brain's cortex or gray matter. The final stop of this zoom which spans multiple orders of magnitude is a little bacterium. That bacterium is resting on a diatom. The diatom is in turn sitting on an amphipod or type of shellless crustacean. A phytoplankton. The head of a maggot of a blue butterfly. This is the outer cell of a chicken's egg and the holes or micropores seen in this image enable gaseous exchange of the developing embryo. Most of the egg cell material is calcium carbonate which accounts for one tenth of the egg's weight. These are microhook fasteners similar to a velcro on the neck of a dragonfly. These structures allow the dragonfly to lock their head during the fast flying and maneuvering need to capture its prey in flight. A sweat gland pore opening onto the surface of a human palm. Microscopic detail of the surface of a peach. The downy texture of peach skin is due to thousands of hairs, the majority of which are very short. Stomata or breathing pores are marked in red. The leg of a gecko. This microscopic photo is of household dust, containing long hairs such as cat fur, twisted synthetic and woolen fibers, a pollen grain, plants, serrated insect scales, and insect remains. A krill larva. Side view of the edge of a razor blade.
ear wax on a cotton bud. A cross section of blueberry fruit. The outermost layer of human skin, the epidermis. High magnification shot of a silverfish eye. The surface of an EEPROM silicon microchip. A cyanobacteria. A section through a coffee bean showing its internal structures. Zooming into a fly's eye. were found in mosses and lichen at the Stillwell Hills near Mawson Station in Antarctica. The image is magnified 1100 times. Dust mites have an unsegmented round bodies with mouth parts that are highly adapted to feeding on the dead scales of human skin found in household dust. They have eight legs and are relatives of spiders and scorpions. They are smaller than full stuffs and therefore invisible to the naked eye. Millions of dust mites live inside furniture and fabric in the average home. The dead bodies and excrement of dust mites can cause allergic reactions to household dust. A clutch of butterfly eggs sitting on a raspberry plant. A mesh of fibers from a two-ply toilet paper showing the microstructure of cellulose fibers. Paper mostly consists of a mesh of softened and pulped wood fibers. A human nail bed. Duglifa strigosa, an amoeba which builds its shell with self secreted silica plates and spines. A potato leaf surface covered in hair like growths called trichomes. The long spiky trichomes protect the plant against predators and water loss through evaporation. The rounded trichomes secret oils that are irritating to predatory insects. Spider silk from a cribulate spider whose silk does not contain glue for catching prey. The silk fibers are extremely thin and adhere by Van der Waals power. Here it is sewn on the eye of a fruit fly. Growth of carbon nanotubes observed at high resolution in an electron microscope. Cocoliths, some of the tiny calcareous nanofossils that make up chalk. E. coli bacteria are gram-negative rod-shaped bacteria that are part of the normal flora of the human gut. Some strains produce a toxin that causes severe diarrhea and can be fatal, especially in the very young or elderly. A human fingerprint showing the epidermal rhesus. The image is magnified 35 times. A corroded surface of a rusty metal nail. A 
A diving beetle larva showing its four primary eyes and mouth parts. The larva of these predatory water beetles eat small invertebrates including tadpoles and midge larvae. This is what happens when you slice a banana then look at it really closely. A wood ant holding a microchip between its mandibles. This is human dandruff. Dead skin is shed continually from all over the body surface and scales such as these are a constituent of house dust. They are the staple food of dust mites. A bass guitar string. The novel coronavirus colored yellow emerging from the surface of cells. The head of an earthworm showing its mouth and small clumps of sedae or bristles. A bristle from a used toothbrush covered in dental plaque. A human blood sample showing red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, colored yellow-green, and fibrin, light brown in color. The jumping spider's eyes are especially well developed for an arachnid. In daylight, their main eyes at the center are more acute than a domestic cat's. The other three pairs of eyes around the spider's head section are chiefly motion sensors. Chelicerae, the two appendages beneath the main eyes house the spider's fangs. A cross-section view of a white grape. Steel is one of the strongest materials we use in building and manufacturing. To make it so strong, sometimes it is woven together in a pattern just like this. The tip of a ballpoint pen is equipped with a metal ball that dispenses ink onto the paper or any surface. The common type of metal used in creating the metal ball is steel, brass or tungsten carbide. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.